Moment of silence before kickoff at Southeast High School tonight as the community grieves the loss of a student athlete. 16 year old Christopher Garcia died from a brain injury that happened during a high school football game. According to a GoFundMe set up for the family, Garcia is remembered for his enthusiasm on and off the field. The school has counselors on hand to help students process the sudden loss. Firefighters are getting some high powered help in this brutal heat. The world's largest firefighting helicopters are battling brush fires in SoCal. They've already dropped over a million gallons on nearly 100 wildfires this year and peak wildfire season has not even begun. Mm -hmm. Local fire officials are hoping the helitankers will make a permanent home in SoCal. And tonight the heat is affecting high school football games. Schools are pushing back kickoff times to keep athletes cool. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do that. Mm -hmm. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is live in Compton tonight where the heat is top of mind for players, coaches and parents. And is it still hot, Lauren? <laughs> Oh, oh, Pat, I feel really bad right now because it's not bad at all. It's actually, oh, dare good. I say, a little bit chilly. We got a nice breeze going on, so it's Ooh. great news, especially for our players here. Right now, it's halftime. Uh, the home team here, Dominguez High School, they're at 14-0 uh, to zero against Hawthorne. And, you know, the heat, though, earlier today, we were in triple digits here. And so that definitely paid a factor and made this game go on 30 minutes late. A heat wave wasn't going to stop Dominguez High School from taking on Hawthorne Friday night. The heat is ridiculous, and and we we're going to get it done. We are going to get it done, you know. So the main concern was health for the kids that they be hydrated, and you know we got with this heat. God hope hope it breaks pretty soon. But it did delay kickoff by 30 minutes. Temperatures in triple digits. I think this is the first time in, in this area that we've experienced temperatures that high. Uh, so we want to make sure our athletes are safe. Heat stroke and exhaustion are big concerns for players. According to the National Center for Catastrophic Sport Injury Research, in 1992 to 2023, 72 football players died from exercise-related heat stroke. 52 of those players were in high school. Players are taking it seriously. It's horrible, but you know, you, you got to get the work done. You got to get the work done. But we have been staying hydrated. Uh, we've been taking rest, a lot of rest, but we've been out here handling the heat the best we can. Parents say the heat is also a worry for them, too. This mom says she wanted to make sure her son stayed hydrated on the field. And I got the 84 ounce bottle of water to keep it cold for 80, 80 uh, hours, and I made sure that he drank it. As the heat continues to stick around, Dominguez High School's quarterback says his team is staying focused. But I'm telling them to either suffer the loss or suffer for the, the, the work it takes to get the win. Let me tell you, he is a really determined quarterback and team leader. He said he was not letting this heat stop his team from winning, and it looks like they're doing pretty good right now, too, with that. The principal telling us tonight that they have a medic on uh, staff here, which is standard, along with a nurse practitioner on standby in case anyone needs uh, help. And, of course, lots of water and fluids to make sure everyone stays hydrated. Pat and Juan, we'll send it back to you. Okay, Lauren, so glad mm -hmm. it's cooled down a bit out there. <laughs>